Let's not even talk about my makeup. I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm sorry. Hello, all you beautiful with the world. It is Belle Jean here, back again with another YouTube video. And today, I'm making a video that I really just don't want to film. And that's taking out my braids. As, um, as some of you recall, in like two, three videos ago, maybe, I got braids. And I genuinely thought that I would hate them. Boy, was I wrong. I love the braids so much. At first, I was like, because mm, uh, uh, like showering was weird, and like wearing a sleep cap, and then like the buns were kind of hard to do. But, I mean, like, okay, I look better in my mirror than I do on camera and on pictures, but I look so good right now. I'm so pretty. I look like the braids have given me a god complex. You can ask anybody who's been around me in the past few days, and they will tell you that I have a god complex. I have a superiority complex. And I'm really afraid that once the braids come off, I'm gonna go back to being like self deprecating and all that crap. But, oh, also, like, the braids gave me the confidence to try eyeliner and like this crazy look. And it's just, it's been a really great time with the braids. And I'm not ready to let them go, but it's been three weeks. Well, it's Sunday now and on Wednesday it'll be three weeks. And they are getting a little crusty dusty, they're loose. And with dance and soccer and the heat and everything, I would just much rather have my normal regular curly hair because that's easier to put on a bun, it's less weight and it's like not as heavy if that makes sense but I truly did love the braids and I'm not ready to let them go in fact procrastinating this video I pierced my ear with my stick and poke embroidery needle except I like didn't go all the way so now there's just like I don't know if you can focus there's like a hole here but not on the back of my ear. So I guess at some point I'm gonna have to finish that or maybe not, because soccer literally starts in like two weeks. And I just, that's not a smart move on my part. But anyway, I have coffee. I figured I would just talk to you guys while I get rid of these braids because I genuinely have no idea how to do them. I just know I have to cut them out and hope for the best. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, can you be outside your house in like five, ten minutes? I'll be right back. Guys, look at what Miss Sydney Westner brought me. It's a bagel bar French vanilla cold brew, which as I have said multiple, multiple, multiple times is the best coffee in the world. So, goodbye crappy Duncan that, I was, that they made my order wrong anyway. Hello. Oh, also, Meredith Schmoyer wanted me to give her credit for this video because she told me to film it. And before we actually start, can we have a little applause for the for the fit? Turtleneck is me, mommies. Tom and Jerry. Um, graphic tee from I think Target and these this skirt is from Hollister? Yeah I think so. Um wanted to go a little e-girl today. I really really want to buy like pants and skirt chains so if you know where those are let me know. Okay now we're gonna go to the video I know nothing. I know I'm supposed to cut it, and I know a lot of hair will fall out, and then unbraid it. So I'm gonna do it in sections. So we're gonna start at the back, which I can't see and you can't see, so that'll be a fun experience. I didn't even tell my mother I was doing this, so. I don't wanna cut my real hair off, so. And then what, just unbraid it? 
I regret it so much. I regret it so much. What if I, what if I just have short braids? I'm just gonna, I just wanna see what that looks like. I just wanna see what that looks like. This is me giving myself a quote unquote haircut as a sorry attempt to delay myself from cutting off my braids. So if anyone tells you that I do not procrastinate, don't listen to them, show them this video because I literally cut my braids instead of taking them out because I was scared. I like never really get haircuts because like my hair just like doesn't grow that long and also like to cut my hair you have to straighten it. It's like a lot of work and stuff and I don't really have the time for that. Except for now because like everything's closed you know so like I never really have to like deal with like getting a big chop and stuff. So like for me like I finally understand what you guys mean when like they cut off too much hair. And like you didn't want it to go because now I'm like feeling that. Don't worry, the braids will be back someday. I definitely, I don't know if there's gonna be a prom this year and if I'm even like gonna go if there is a prom, but I definitely. But I definitely am gonna have the braids back for prom. Maybe before that, I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm rambling, I'm stalling. I don't know why this is affecting me so much. Oh, short hair looks so good. Like, I really hope I'm not accidentally cutting out any of my real hair. Because I know it's like actually kind of long. I don't want to do that. Because, trust me, these braids, like, I can have a lot of it, but my hair does not grow. I have not gotten a haircut in about a year. And that was just like a trim. Okay, this is it. This is the short braids. Oh, so uneven, so uneven. I'm really... I already cut them and they're uneven, so I have to do it now, so... Let's see, I want everything but, like, the background. So. I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm not scared. I don't know why I'm, I'm such a baby. I'd like it looks really pretty like this. Maybe I should just get like extensions like this. I never thought I like I was like fine with my hair. Like I never like wanted to change it and I really liked it. Until I got these braids and now I just like want braids. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, when I had the braids in I put in like a lot of castor oil and coconut oil and just like stuff like that for like hair growth. So hopefully like my hair has grown a bit. I don't know if it will, but it's so pretty. Curls are so pretty. For the first like decade of my life, I like hated my hair and I was like, ugh, curls are ugly and I would wear a ponytail every day, like a high ponytail to just like hide it and stuff, but like now I'm like embracing the curls, I'm like, I look good, braids look good. And there we have it, the first strand of my real hair. It's really soft. I put on like leave-in conditioner like before JJ did my braids. Anyway, I'm gonna listen to Folklore, so maybe this will be time-lapsed, maybe not. Actually, it probably will be time-lapsed. Um, Folklore's a great album, stream it. <laughs> I literally have such 
a mess of hair all the way around me. But it's time to do the last braid. I'm really vibing with my. This is how it looks when I take my twists out. So I'm really <laughs> vibing with this. Snip, snip, and then we'll braid. I'm surprised at how fast it took. It's only been an hour, and I expect it to take a lot longer. I don't know why, but I have to. <coughs> <coughs> Guys, I promise I don't have COVID. I just think sometimes air just goes down your mouth weird. Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. Three, two, one, one and a quarter, one and a half. Oh wait, I was literally, I should have said a half, a quarter, an eighth, sixteenth. I don't know, it's after 16th, so I'm gonna say 64th. And we did it! <laughs> I am back to being a curly head, back to my roots. Um, to the braids, I'll miss you. I'll see you again, don't you worry. And I had a great time, thank you for making me more confident. But, it's so weird, cause like, my hair's obviously like lighter than black. And I haven't seen it in a while, but I'm done. So thank you for watching this video. If you made it to this point in the video, comment your favorite coffee drink or hot chocolate drink or tea drink. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Like a hollow street. I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind.